and back to the formwork. We always start installing the formwork panels from the corners of the foundation, that way both corners line up perfectly in place. Then we hammer wooden pegs into the ground, locking the panels solid in place. Once the corners are in, we can put the rest of the panels in place. At this point, we're only left with the custom cuts, the spots where standard sheets don't fit. For those, we're using a circular track saw to get precise. And once all the formwork boards are in place, we can start locking the whole setup together. We start by locking each wooden peg to the bottom of the formwork with threaded rods. Normally, we just hammer the pegs straight into the ground and that would do the job. But since the site's pretty wet and the foundation's quite wide, we're playing it safe. For the top, we're using thick steel wire to tie the pegs together from both sides. And we're using wooden spacers, so we don't over-tighten the top. Once everything's locked in, we'll take them out. The formwork's really coming along now. Everything's lined up nicely and locked together tight, and we've got just a few more steps left before we can start the pour. 